hello friends welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am back with another tableau dashboard development and the topic is the netflix movies and the series analysis this data set is <coughs> present on the kaggle and this is a website i will give the link into the description and here is the basic information about the data set and here the data is actually look like we have actually around um six different worksheets uh, it is CSV files, but I will pick only two after them. One is the uh, best movie of the Netflix, and the second one is the best shows of the Netflix. And the third one is the uh, credits and the titles, but uh, I will not use these for my visualization. So let's explore the data. Here in the data, we have uh, five different columns. The first one is the title, second one is the release year, third one is the score. Score in the sense it is a rating, and the fifth one is the main genre like drama comedy there are like different categories and the last one is the main production where the production is happened so like us india or any other countries so it's this country codes they have given so likewise we will use our technique to visualize this data okay so i have already created a tablet dashboard for this let me show that to you and we'll quickly show how the visualization gives uh, attractive information about this so if you could see this dashboard I have created around nine different charts to explore the data and give the bright insights about the data I have used a uh, four filters like a year of release top 20 is showing for uh, movies and it is a main genre like or which genre we can use the different genders and see our visualization charts how it is showing for different different categories and the main production like for which country how many movies and shows has been released and what is the rating and what is the exact insights about that particular country so first one is top 10 movies by words so i have created a movie list by words like the which were the highly rated movies in the netflix and this is the vote count of votes you can see and this is the rating of that particular movie so for like for inception the total rating is 88.8 .8 and the votes are around uh 22 lakhs so likewise we have the list we can control this list with help of our parameter also uh, like uh, if I select this then you can, top 8 movies you can see now we have top 8 now we have a top 5 and till then we can select up to top 20 so that's why I, I use the top 20 as a header over here I can rename it like top 20 movies by words also that's that's completely fine so like this we can change it and if you, if you could see here the production is also changing so if i change this you can see the production is showing updated numbers with reference to these top 11 movies okay the next one is a gender trend of gender like over the period of time we can see which gender took more attention like the drama you can see the drama took more attention but if you could see here the sports took comparatively very less attention but it is not the case sports are also in the trend but not on the netflix okay so likewise we have the trend for the different genres like uh, thriller is comparatively somewhere 50 percent of the sport and crime gender is again 25 or 220 percent of the sports attention so likewise we have this trend of gender over the period of time i see after 20 20s like around everything took huge scope compared to 90s timing let it be the next chart showing us the uh, <coughs> total count or total movies the best movies i'm saying it is not actual it is the best movies only and it is the best shows the best movies are 360 where the best shows are 241 present on the netflix it is not 
total count it is only count of best movie and the best show okay here the popular production we have the <coughs> most popular is india and the us to produce the content on the netflix there are other countries also but not significantly it is very low compared to us and uh, india the next one is a rating versus duration like which one is having high rating but high duration if you can if you want to answer this question then the best answer is the movie having the rating between 7 to 8 <coughs> or to 7.8 <coughs> having the good rating and a good duration where the movie is having a rating after 8 or after 8.2 having the low duration you can see it with the help of dual chart we can definitely see this okay next one is like the overall volume for movies versus shows you can see it is movies having the overall high volume compared to shows the red area is showing the show volume where the blue area showing of the movie volume the next chart is showing us the available content in a different country like drama is present over 32 percent see comedy is present 17 percent sci-fi present it is around 18.67 percent likewise the content available on the netflix okay you can select the country or the production over here and see for which production or the for which country having the high content let me give you uh, india as an example i'm selecting only india over here and you can see drama and action is around 66.7 and action is 33.3 percent present on the netflix so like this you can see the data next one is the top rated movies it is showing me the list of movies with top rates and uh, i think that this chart under this chart will give me the same approximately same detail but here we have overall movie count like it is it is not limited to top 2010 <clears throat> it is giving it is giving me straightforward top rated movie in ascending orders the next one is the total movies by genre for which genre how many movies has been popular get popularity so this is a waterfall chart for this you'll get idea like drama having very high count and the sports having very low count over here okay the number is somehow you may find it is misleading but it is simply adding up 150 minus 210 that will be the total volume it is like 59 and for sport it is only for one and uh, animation it is three so likewise you can modify this chart and get a uh, correct figures or relevant figures it is showing me the correct i will hide a text in the next while i'm publishing this dashboard and the last chart is showing us the tree map where we can see how many movies produced by which production house or which country like for us it is total 157 movies and india it is 115 movies these two are high in the production but compared to this other countries are very low and this is only about the best movies it is not about the total movies present on the netflix so this is how i have created these dashboards i hope you found this is useful and good one and uh, <clears throat> let me give you the insight of each and every sheet on this dashboard so here we go we have all the worksheets present in used in the dashboard and we'll visit each and every worksheet one by one so let's start with popular production so here this is the a uh, box chart you can see the box and a whisker plot and this plot you can see the outlier and mean median all the details over here if you can see properly uh this is simple comparison where we can see how many movies or proportion of production present in each country present on the netflix so the us is number one in rank and india is number two in rank number three is a gb it is i think it is a uk and 
you can see all the other countries present here which is contributing to netflix content okay so this is how i created i simply dropped and dropped the main production and uh, used a movie as a total count and use the box and whisker plot over here so i got this chart the next one is shows over the time so it is very simple i have dropped drag and drop the release year in the column and the count of movies in the row and use the area chart where i can see the overall volume of the movies versus shows this is how it is look like next one is the total count of the movies versus shows and here simple i just dragged the movie and the show title on the um, row and in column i use the major name and i use the count to show case the total count of movies and shows this is how you can see this the next one is the top rated movies it's pretty simple i simply dragged the score into the column over here you can see and the movie name into the rows and do did it an ascending order and this is how it looks like so this is giving me the organized list of the movies with the high rating to the low rating let's scroll down it will give the lowest rating the welcome is having the lowest rating it is 6.9 again i'm telling this is only uh based movies present on the netflix it is not entire movie so you will not get confused <clears throat> the next chart is the content available in different country okay so i have used a show title in as a count and a main genre as a category dragged into the row and i give the volume by percentage like this giving total percentage like drama having the 32 percent whereas the comedy is present at 17.84 percent if i uh, use a filter on the production like this and i will i will quickly show you how it look like give me a second and we'll quickly show you by applying the filter okay and show filter over here <clears throat> it will be a multiple value drop down or let me do it for single value list so it will be over here like for now it is nothing ar if i select ar this will be comedy as a hundred percent let me try to change this filter multiple value drop down and it will give me let me select the india see drama comedy action crime and thriller romance so this is how different genres has been produced by india which is having a drama is 46 percent where the comedy is 24 percent action is 15 percent crime is 11 percent so likewise the romance is 0.56 percent so this is how india has produced a best content on netflix okay the next worksheet is the trend of the genre over the period of time Here i can see the 1995 the romance was in trend but slowly slowly after 90s when the 20 early 20 all the categories started getting attention and the drama took a huge popularity over the period of time and this is a similar trend for all other genres of you got this how to create this like year in the column <coughs> and count of movies in the row where in the color i have used the genre in the color so that we can see the different lines for each genre next worksheet is the movie genre it is a waterfall chart and uh, you can simply create this with the GAN bar chart and there are certain steps that you need to follow like running total into the count so it will show you this kind of waterfall chart and this is a chart for the crime uh, sorry the genre versus all the movies present <coughs> under different genre the next one is a tree uh, tree map where we can see the each country has been prepared a 
contributed to Netflix like US has contributed 157 best movies where the India is 115 and likewise all the other countries present like AU gave the 3, US gave the 6, Japan gave the 9 best likewise all other countries present on our Netflix next one is the rating versus duration this is a, a dual access chart where I can see that line is showing me the rating where the bar chart is giving me the total count I did not use a, a header on the bar chart but if I give header it, it is showing me the exact header like 7.4 the movies with 7.4 rating having the 35 movies and the average duration is 72 hours for those movies so that kind of information we are getting over here so we are hired simply because <coughs> I use that in the tooltip you can see the duration are 72 so that's fine no need to show the title over here and likewise you can see the duration versus or rating although it is not required but uh, you can get at least some sort of basic insight sort of the next one is like the uh, movies by words here i have the list of movies score and how many words has been given to each movie so which is pretty simple i use the LOD function over here to fix that words for each movie separately so that if we will data our data will not mess up at the end with the different visualization techniques so this is how i have created this uh, netflix movie analysis i hope you like this video i'll share this on the tableau public and give the link in the description you can find it and you can explore or you can you can suggest if you need if you find anything uh, irrelevant or improvable you can you can definitely suggest into the comment section i will definitely try to add it okay so this is how i have created this dashboard hope you like it share this video friend if you, and um, like this video your like will give me motivation to create next video okay till then i will see you in the next video with another tablet dashboard till then take care bye bye